If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the college cheese as always. There was a second update yesterday that I mentioned in the patch notes of the first update video that I did, uh, where EA essentially said that they were going to have more uh, updates to come later in the day. Uh, and I told you guys I'd probably ended up doing a video about that. So that's what today's video is about. Before I get into that, as always, if you guys want me to continue to do update videos like this for both college and Madden, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But if you guys missed yesterday's video at the very end, or if you didn't watch all the way to the end, I did mentioned that there was a dev note at the bottom that said the following before we let you go we want to let you know that the ratings adjustments new nil players and new team rankings will arrive later today so stay tuned on twitter and instagram to know when those updates will be live so when i recorded the original video i didn't even realize that you had to actually i was still in the game when when i saw that the ratings updates were coming out so if your rosters didn't update or you hadn't played since then you might have to go to the create and share section where it says edit rosters and go down to update rosters now i already have the update but i had to update it in game to get the actual updated rosters so there was actually quite a few things that did change here uh number one no matter what game mode you go in now and this is something that once again wasn't necessarily reported in the patch notes or even uh suggested but they finally updated the top 25 overalls as you can see penn state here is number three i'm not sure if they're currently number three that's just the home team i have selected obviously um but if you go to like the sec alabama is no longer ranked i think they were sixth they're now 15th um most of the top teams i guess are in the sec as you can see george is number two uh, i'm not sure uh, you got old miss there number 20 so yeah finally have updated uh overall ranking so if you're a fan of one of these teams like me being a penn state fan i'm happy that um that i finally have the, a little bit of a better ranking i guess and at least it'll be that way for months because i don't really see ea changing this very often considering that's just not how they roll so i would imagine this is probably going to be the update uh or the uh, the ratings uh, as far as the team top 25 teams are for like a good month or so because it took them that long to change in the first place so they might change it again probably towards the end of the season i would imagine so until then penn state's going to be uh the number three ranked team and Oregon going to be the number, number all the top three of the top four teams number one uh being oregon and number four being uh ohio state but at least there's that so that's something that was changed they also reported that they worked on changing the overalls of these teams because penn state i'm pretty sure we had like an 80 something i think it was like an 88 or some offense now you can see it's the everything's above 90 they got above 90 offense above 90 defense the defense was always above 90 but now the offense is as well now, as far as the player ratings update, it said that they focused on teams in the top 25. So if you're a fan of a team outside of the top 25, you might not have necessarily gotten a ton of updates, but the teams in the top 25 did. Uh, I'm, I don't have a full list of all the updated players. I just have a list here of the best players. Uh, they're all rated 90 or higher. So I'm going to go over that. But number one, we have Ashton. I know it's Genty. I know I say Gianti because I'm from Philly. We say John. We put try to put the word John and everything. So we call Cooper DeJean Cooper DeJean around here. Somebody was, uh, was snapping on me in the comments yesterday. But either way, Ashton uh, Genty got a plus one, although he also did get, uh, which I reported yesterday, he got a lot of new physical and mental abilities as well. Uh, I think, I'm thinking about making a video where I just use Ashton uh, Genty uh it, for, for an entire game and try to win a game like that so if you guys want to see that i'll probably put that out next week because i actually am a pretty big fan of this guy how can you not be a fan of this guy michael myers himself after that penn state's abdul carter got a plus one as well uh he said that he was gonna be the first 99 overall this was before the season started when the, before this game came out he said he was gonna be the first 99 overall player in this game well he got a plus three up to a 94 so he's not that far off i'm gonna guess tyler warren got something too because he has been having a really good year and i don't remember him being rated at 93 um so yeah tyler warren i'm gonna guess that he got that even though he's not listed in the list that i'm going to tell you guys or the list that i'm reading off to you guys a tight end that is listed in the uh on the list that i'm reading you guys it's a plus two is harold fanning jr uh this guy here really good player out of bowling green uh 85 speed tight end that's that's about as high as it gets cam ward also got a plus two he's now maybe the third highest rated quarterback also having a monster year uh guys that could potentially be in the heisman running if the if miami keeps winning there also was a major update to uh, Siobhan Ravel Jr. This guy here, six foot three, 96 speed, is also now a 92 overall player. Giving you guys a really good reason if you like to use East Carolina. Iowa running back Caleb Johnson got a plus four. He's now a 91 overall. And he's still the third highest rated player on that team. 
And when it comes to Cal, uh, the second highest rated player now behind Jaden Ott is Noel Williams, who got a plus four uh, outside cornerback. Very good player as well. Obviously, he's up to a 91, so they now have two 90-plus overall players. The next one on the list is Ryan Williams, who I mentioned in yesterday's video because I he's one of the players that I noticed didn't have any uh, physical abilities, but he obviously got that added during the update. And I think he was only rated as like an 85 or maybe an 84 before the update, but he got a plus eight. So I guess he was actually rated as an 82. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I thought he was like an 84. I always played him in the slot because of his speed, which also got a one point boost, by the way. I do remember his speed was a 95. Now it's a 96, but his overall rating got a plus eight. So he's now up to a 90 overall which is pretty interesting because i know in, in one of my previous videos when i talked about the last rating update that he got a lot of people thought people like him and dylan riola would get uh updated slowly because of the fact that um you know they're not gonna have a lot of room to grow but it's good to see that they didn't take that approach and just gave this guy what he deserves because he's an absolute playmaker and he's now a 90 overall player Another player that a lot of people were, were really uh, commenting a lot in previous videos when I talked about ratings updates was Jeremiah Smith. He got a massive update as well. He got a plus six. I'm not really sure, but I think his speed might have went up a point as well too. Let me know in the comment section. I don't really use Ohio State, but I don't remember them having a 94 speed receiver. I thought they only had a 93 at the most. But either way, you have, um, you know, he's got also a very big update now to a 90 overall as well. Next up, we got a player that um, got one of the biggest boosts. He got a plus 15. And that's Trey White from San Diego State. Obviously having a monster year, get a boost like that. And Tennessee running back Dylan Sampson got a plus five. Uh, obviously, he's the second highest rated player, only behind James Pierce Jr. on this roster, but definitely deserved. The quarterback for Navy got a plus eight. So if you like to run that uh, triple option, he's got uh, the highest level of option king. And now he's an 85 overall player with 87 speed. So Navy's not looking too bad. And the quarterback for Army also got a plus eight. He's only up to an 83, though, but 84 speed once again, 83 overall. Uh, he's got the highest level of option king. So if you like to run those styles of play, uh, you obviously, and I'm sure some of their passing statistics probably got boost as well, but I didn't really use these either one of these teams. But let's go ahead and take a look uh, at their throw power stats and their uh, and stuff like that, as I'm sure that had to go up. If you're going to go plus eight, you probably got some bumps and some of these other things. His throw power is still in the I think that's really what it was. But you can see his accuracies are close to being the threshold uh, with 83 being uh, his deep accuracy not being too great, but his short and his mid accuracy being solid enough that you can really run a competent offense with these teams now. Next up for Texas, we have backup quarterback Arch Manning, who has played quite a bit this year uh, at times. Um, I think we had like a 500-yard game or something like that in the game we started. Uh, obviously, he's going to be the next uh, big quarterback coming up. But ultimately, he's got a plus two to an 89. His speed looks kind of high at an 87. I don't know if his, I mean, I think he ran for a, a pretty good amount of yards in one of those games too, but his speed looks a little bit higher. Uh, I think it was the same game actually, but either way, uh, yeah, definitely deserved. Next up on Colorado, Shadur Sanders did get a plus one to maintain the number one spot all by himself. I'm not sure if he's the number one quarterback in college, uh, but still, uh, that's why they have him listed here. Dylan Gabriel of number one rated team Oregon uh, got a plus one as well. He's up to a 93 as the, the next couple tiers of quarterbacks are all pretty close. We also got Jalen Milrow with a plus two. He was formerly a 90, and his speed went up from a 90 to a 92 as well. This is not this was not reported. This was not on the list. I just noticed that here, and since I do use Alabama every once in a while, I do see that uh, there is a change in both of those. So plus two in speed, plus two in overall as well. Carson Beck went backwards a point, by the way. Uh, he's the only guy on the list that I can report that actually went down. Um, I do think that Drew Aller went up. Since we're talking about quarterbacks, I'm pretty sure Drew Aller was not a 91 overall player, uh, but I don't have the exacts. I could have swore he was like an 86 or an 87. I'm not really sure, but it looks like he might have gone up. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't use Penn State much because I don't actually like their playbook. I do know from my days of using Texas State that Jordan McLeod probably went up a point. I'm pretty sure he was an 85 before, so I definitely had to mention that. And also the SMU quarterback, Preston Stone, went up a point. Uh, that's pretty much it. We only have one more spot here at the receiver position. As Jaden Higgins from uh, Iowa State is having a really uh, impressive year as well. Probably, I think they had the best start ever. I think they're, they're, they're 6-0. It's like they've never done. Uh, their, their top receiver, who uh, looks like a monster, is 6'4". Uh, he's now a plus 5 to be a 90 overall player. And I'm sure there's more. You know what I mean? Like, there was a lot. I saw one that was like the entire team of Louisville got like massive roster updates. 
but these are the ones from the list that I'm reporting. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, if you missed yesterday's video, I'll have that popping up on screen. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.